G'day guys, I'm here with Tom, Brody and Nick of the Wolf Brothers. How's it going boys? Great, fantastic. Great. It's great to be here, great having a chat and yes. um, loving, loving Nashville life at the moment. So you guys have had an incredible year. You won Group of the Year at the CMC Awards and you've just had This Crazy Life go number one on iTunes. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, What's it's, been, yeah. it's, it's been great. I mean, we've had... Our life evolves around being busy pretty much 24 seven. Uh, it's a really good opportunity for us to get out our music and what we do and yeah. take, it, take it across America, man. How did you create the name? Well, we're brothers and our last name is Wolf and... Um, and he's a brother because he's a mate. He's yeah. our mate, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it actually, in all honesty, it actually named itself because for years we did cover gigs around the pubs and... So everyone was going, oh, it's the Wolf Brothers. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. We're going, what we're are going you to see the Wolf Boys this weekend. So, oh, so sorry, just, no, well, that's so nice. So, so let's it's, take it's it. happening. We used to be called One for the Road back in the early days. Oh. So, <laughs> we had this really tacky banner that was like... <laughs> Written oh. out of um, letters of, made of fire and a plane. Oh, yeah. It was just awful, you know. Yeah, but you know, that's all. Yeah. It's, it's a great time. It was you great evolved. Time to I reckon the first thing we ever did together was the St. Aloysius talent show. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I think we played, Tom and I played Creedence Clear or Revival, Bad Moon Rising, and Tom was playing drums and I played guitar. I had a very high voice then. I was. Eight years old. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Had it hadn't developed yet. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I see Good little quiet voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and so, we, lo we lost though. We come second to a, a like girl dancing. Ribbon twirler. How can you compete yeah. with that? Yeah, no, so. You guys could have had a ribbon. Yeah, we could have. I would have voted for that. I know. <laughs> we've, done, we've done all right. That's how it all started. And mm. Brody's had enough meals at Mum and Dad's place to classify as a brother. So. I love they, that. Used to, um, they used to wait for me every Sunday. If I didn't show up for dinner, they'd wait. Oh, Without calling it, and I not show up. So what type of farm did you guys have? Uh, just a little small fruit farm like raspberries and yeah. blackberries. Your folks are still there? And, yeah, still yeah. There. Been there for a hundred years. So, so. so our farm used to pull off in its days to do 40 tonnes of black currants. Your family were influencing the hyperactive kids of Australia. Were, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off the red cordial. Yeah. Yeah. Red currants, all the red currants <laughs> came from our place. That's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, that's right. yeah. <laughs> we the band guys. We used to do, you know, we sort of cut our teeth doing all the rodeos and, um, you know, BNS balls and whatever sort of, any sort of rural gig in, in Tassie we could get our hands right. on, we'd, we'd sort of, would do. And through that, we just built up a really, really loyal bunch of yeah. fans. And um, when we sort of finally um, got onto the show, Australia's Got Talent, yeah. uh, they all just got behind us. And they got us all, got us all the way to second place, so um, we just got us a, a management and record deal, and yeah. when we just put out our third album. So it's, that's been an incredible four year. Got yeah. to go to places in Australia that we would have probably never got to go otherwise. Yeah, you know? well, yeah in the world now. And so who are you riding with while you're here? Anyone who will have us, basically. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who owns it. No. Um, <laughs> Anyone and everyone. No, we've got a lot of the guys that we um, wrote with for the last album. Our good mate Jordan Brooker, we've written one with him so far. Mm. Catch up with some of the Aussies that have been over here. Seems like everyone in the Australian music scene's been over here. Uh, Rowan, Missy Lancaster, Katie yeah. Bell. And yeah, Phil, Phil Barton. Barton. So we went to the listening room the other night and um, Phil Barton was up on stage and he's just such an amazing performer but he called the boys up and um, Tom starts telling this story about and it was just such an Aussie story and I couldn't help but laugh because he's there and he's like talking about this guy Bruce and then he's like and then it all started in a pub and I'm like of course it did, it always starts in a pub with yeah, a beer. <laughs> yeah, we're, we, we can't help it, we're pretty... Um, we're pretty Australian and it comes through a lot. I don't know why, but Americans seem to really love the Aussies over here. Oh, it's it's great. We did yeah. our first show the other week and um, they were just wanted to hear us talk and we had people coming up after the show saying, yeah. can you just see my name, please? Like, yeah, no worries. What's your name? <laughs> Brittany. Oh, g'day, Brittany. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. I like a mid, mid gig. Someone said, can y'all see watermelon? Watermelon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> when they heard us say watermelon, they lost themselves and oh. they ran away because they couldn't handle it. <laughs> they, 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 they just ran out laughing. It's too much. It's too much for them. What's, if you, if you see any, is there a difference that you find between Australian country music and, and American country music? I mean, yes and no. I mean, obviously, the, the things we sing about, I mean, you know, there's. We don't have trucks in Australia and we don't have... We have you know, utilities. We have utilities. I mean, there's all that, all that sort of stuff. But, I mean, honestly, like, 
Country people are pretty much the same all around yeah, exactly. the world. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. If, if the song's, you know, from the heart and speaking the truth and, mm -hmm. and really nails it, well, that's the most important that's, thing. That's the most important thing, regardless mm -hmm. of who's singing it and where they're from, you know. Mm -hmm. If it's not real and it's they're trying to be someone they're not, I think people see through that. Mm -hmm. So the country music we like is stuff we can go, well, that's what that artist is. I believe, when he sings that, I, be yeah. I fully believe, believe that, you know. Yeah. And that's what we try and do, like the stuff we write, we relate to things in our life, whether it's been where we're from or the band or mm -hmm. relationships that have worked and some that haven't, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it all comes out. And I know you just got engaged. I Congratulations. Did. Thank you. Yep. How did you propose to her? Yeah, no, it was, <laughs> well, it was about the only weekend we had off <laughs> for <laughs> six months and um, took her out for dinner and I had it planned and made it my, I had a restaurant, so I had the restaurant was empty and we had all these candles and stuff set up, but my, my story to get her to that restaurant was, oh, it's me mate's birthday who I used to work with. I, we're having a few beers, let's go. And she was like, I don't want to go and drink with your mates you used to work with. I was like, ah, oh, come on, come on. She's like, our last night together before you go to America on tour. Come on. I was like, nah, no, I want to Got her into the restaurant. She's like, uh, what are you doing? And then, yeah. That's awesome. So she yeah. had no idea. She had no idea, which was great, Aww. which was really great. And um, I'm, we're both over the moon, so. So when are you guys heading back to Oz? We go back for the Gimpy Muster, yep. which we're really excited about. We're doing main stage, yep. um, I think after John Williamson, Casey Chambers. So I mean, that's that's another yeah. that's another moment. That's, cool. oh. that's another moment of you know, wouldn't have thought that when we were in the pubs of Tassie no. five years ago. Yeah. Um, and, and that's going to be amazing. And then we come back here, finish off the tour in September. But then in October we're doing our headline tour, uh, this Crazy Life tour, and we've got seven acts from three different countries. We've got Gord Bamford coming on the road with us, who's like Canada's wow. Lee Koenig and he's, yeah. he's huge in Canada. Yeah. Um, we've got Jodie Doreen from New Zealand, Carla Shadbolt, um, Christy Lamb, Craig Heath and Troy Kemp. It's going to be... That's a cracker. It's going to be a cracker of a show. It's going to be another busy, busy... The year's oh. halfway done. It's, I know. It is a crazy yeah. life, boys. Crazy yeah. life. Oh. <laughs> so I usually do a thing with the Americans called a minute in Australia, but because you're Aussie, I'm doing how well do you know your country? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> good, good. This will be good, right? I want you, Nick, yes. to sing the entire Australian anthem. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> oh, oh, sick. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, um, do we have to do Yeah. Yeah. Australians, all their dust for just. For we wear tight knee jeans. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, yeah, that, okay. yeah, that, that right. was pretty good though. That's accepted. So because it's the 4th of July weekend and because we're not allowed fireworks in Australia, I'm giving you guys fireworks oh. for gifts. Oh, yeah. So oh, that yeah. is for yeah. you. Yeah. Can we light them up in here? <laughs> light them up straight afterwards. <laughs> what Australian film is the largest grossing Aussie film in Aussie record? Inside Australia? Yes. Oh. It's not the actual movie Australia, is it? No. Is that the castle? No. I, I think I know what it might be. I'm, I'm like the worst person to can ask I, can this. I, can oh, I, can I, take a guess. I, it would be, it has to be Croc Dundee. Yes! Yeah. Very good! Yeah. High yeah. five for so, that. Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it either be the castle or Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee yeah, yeah, is the yeah. highest grossing Australian film in history. Wow, well, there you go. I know. Actually, at the gig the other night, people were sort of just in the merch line quoting Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. Yeah. Were they? Yeah. You have to answer this with me. Okay. When I say Aussie, you say... Oi, oi, oi. Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. There's a... There's a oh. It's a protocol. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. Do you know it? When I say Aussie, you say... Oi. Aussie. Oi. Aussie. Oi. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. Yeah, we win stuff. There you go. Thank you, Some Dom. crackers for all of you. So that's the end of our interview, guys. Do you want to uh, let everybody know where they can follow you? Yep. Please follow us on our website. It's got links to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Uh, Wolf underscore brothers is for the Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And the website is wolfbrothers.com um, and you can so purchase much. this crazy life on iTunes and keep it on number one absolutely right thanks guys <laughs> thank you Don thank, thank you, you. Awesome.